20-year-old has very different needs from an 85-year-old, though both are considered adults. By incorporating age-specific considerations into your care for adults of every age, you help identify and provide the care that particular person needs at that time of life. And you can help the person become an active partner in health decisions. You will also help your institution comply with accreditation standards established by the Joint Commission. Age-specific competencies have been a major focus of the Joint Commission. Healthcare staff need to be trained on how the age of each patient can impact health assessment and delivery of care. There are special health considerations to be aware of at each stage of adult life, and all healthcare staff should understand and apply these age-specific considerations. To do this, you should also be aware of the adult's culture and language. America is a very culturally diverse country and becoming more diverse all the time. There are many differences in cultures, in beliefs, cultural practices, eating habits, and physical environment. Many of these can affect a person's health directly or affect the attitudes and beliefs that define how health is maintained. If you work with a minority community, you should learn as much as you can about the minority culture. In addition, you should determine the patient's primary language, preferred learning style, and decide whether communication might be improved if you brought in a translator or interpreter or other teaching aids. Also, if this is a first visit, you should check for any speech, visual, or hearing impairments so that this can be recorded in the medical records for future reference and adjust any teaching to accommodate the patient's needs. A cultural understanding and clear communication with the patient can be keys to providing age-specific care. We will now look more closely at age-specific care for different ages of adults, starting with early adults from the ages of about 20 to 29. Early adults have generally achieved full physical and sexual maturity and left most of the problems of adolescence behind. 